Do you see the rain out there? I can't open the door or this thing over there will get upset. But do you see the rain out there? It actually might not be raining right now. So I, it is, it is raining. Let me look out front. It is raining. I have been lazy this morning, Saturday. Light drizzle, light drizzle out there. Um, did I want to get up and go for a walk? No, I don't. Do I want to wait until 2 p.m. for it to stop raining? Sure. <laughs> I could do a billion other things, but I'm not going to today. I'm going to go and just immediately get in the car. I'm actually just going to get my ice for my drink. Oh, I need to get a cup from the fridge, or from the dishwasher. And I haven't gone walking starting out in the rain before. Well, I guess maybe I have. Um, she needs to unload this. All right, let me leave that open so that it's annoying when she comes down. <laughs> Got my water cup or my energy drink cup. Got my water. I'm gonna leave my bracelet here on my desk. I told you yesterday there was something special about today, and it is our anniversary. We have been married 23 years. Um, let's go to the car. All right. So today is our anniversary. Um, been married 23 years got married in 2001 two weeks before 9 oh I'll know what 9-11 yeah two weeks before 9-11 got married went on our honeymoon came home moved to Seattle and arrived here on September 11th it's fantastic 9-11 more importantly um, Anyway, uh, we don't have any plans. And I told Jason, I promise you, I will not hold this against you. <laughs> and he even told me he'd take me to Din Tai Fung. And I was like, that's cruel, because I really love Din Tai Fung. But, um, and I'm not going to talk about it now, but my appetite isn't as much as it used to be. And so it's hard for me to go out to dinner these days um, because I can't eat it's a good thing it's not a bad thing it's just that I the portion sizes are so huge Jason and I do like sharing food um, but as you probably have seen from Din Tai Fung their portions are <laughs> because you want to get like multiple dishes um, the, it's a lot of food and we wouldn't mind leftovers um, but the other problem with going out to eat tonight for our anniversary, going out to do anything really, Jason's crown came off yesterday as you saw and it's just, he's having the worst time trying to eat. And so <laughs> he's like, I would really like to take you out. And even last night I was like, oh, maybe we could share a, a steak from Daniel's Broiler because that's my, my other favorite place to go especially for like birthdays and anniversaries it's like my place um but I don't know don't even think I could put down a six ouncer <laughs> and that would be so sad to spend that kind of money on a steak that does not taste good reheated so um we are not gonna go out tonight we might um, postpone it till next weekend see how we feel and do something next Friday night um, it's easier when he isn't working and we can go out. Um, he is at work today and um, he, I'm sure he doesn't feel the greatest because he's, he's hungry all the time and it's hard for him to eat and he's just going to be tired. Um, so we are not going anywhere tonight. We did our game night with our friends last night because people couldn't do it tonight. Um, so, and it's raining. And it's gross and it's cold. It's 50, no, it's 63, 63. Last night it was 55 when we came home from our friend's house. It was cold and anyway, cold and miserable and rainy. Oh, my watch hasn't gone up. Um, 
but I am gonna go walk in the dang rain. I'm gonna do it. I've got pants on. Yes, I have two pair of like, you know, sport leggings or whatever you wanna call them. They're just generic from Amazon that I got years ago. They're too big on me. So let's hope they stay up. <laughs> um, but I'm not buying anything else. I am gonna keep losing weight and um, but I'm gonna, I've got my pants on and I'm wearing this sweatshirt now because it's cozy, but I've got my sport sweatshirt or my sport jacket in the back with a hoodie and we are gonna go walk in the rain. Jason said he had a hat for me to wear that had like a brim on it. Um, I don't know, I might try that next time to keep the rain really off of my face, but um, we're just gonna do it. And if I'm soaking wet in a half hour and I only get two miles in, so be it. I'll come home. I also have towels on the seat here. Um, if you know where you get sweaty when you go walking and working out and sitting on, these aren't leather seats, but it's a little uncomfortable when you're wet. <laughs> so, a, little, a little towel to sit on and also another towel, a clean one to dry off if I'm soaking wet. So let's go walk in the rain. All right, I'm bundled up. I'm take my glasses off because they're just gonna get wet. And uh, this is not gonna be pleasant. Oh. <laughs> The weather app was wrong because it's not raining anymore. I'm only keeping my hoodie on because um, the wind is blowing water from the trees. <laughs> and the wind is, I don't want them to knock out my headphones or get them wet. So I'm keeping my hoodie on, but I'm lucking out. I was smart to make the decision to come out when it was raining and uh, it's not raining anymore and I'm nice and warm. I'm not cold. My arms were cold before. And I was thinking, okay, going into winter, maybe I need to get long sleeve workout shirts to wear underneath jackets like this, which I need to get some other ones. I also need to get ones that have like the harder little thing here that comes out kind of, I don't know, bugs my glasses a ton. Um, but I'm getting more wet here in the trees with the wind blowing the leaves um, and the water. But um, I'm very happy I came. I've got a good podcast playing. I even have two books downloaded I could listen to. So plenty to keep me going for a little while. The kids need to do their Saturday chores at home. So we're all good. We're going to do this. I don't know how many times I can do it in a row, but right now we're just doing it one at a time. Like I said the other day, you just do it one at a time. And if I get mundane for you guys or you get sick of me talking about this kind of stuff, let me know. Um, this is just what I'm kind of going through, what goes through my head, what motivates me to get out every day. And um, if it gets annoying to you guys, let me know. So keep walking. All right. Here's my last thoughts on walking in the rain. It's kind of starting to rain a little bit more. I am at four and a half miles. I'm going to get to five. And I just was thinking, oh, it's raining again. This is kind of miserable. But it's miserable when it's really, really hot. And you're, you know, that takes a toll on how much you can do. So, but the feeling I have of knowing I've walked four and a half miles and how good that feels for my body and how strong my legs feel and how good this feels to have on feels the exact same as when it's really hot or when it's just a nice pretty day all of that still feels the exact same so heat humidity rain cold I don't know if I'll be out here in freezing temperatures <laughs> but the walking part still feels the same um, and that's what I'm trying to focus on. And I'm so glad that I came out today. 
but I'm really excited for a hot shower and to get some sweatpants on. I just had to stop at Costco and get my meds and go to uh, Target to get Kaylee's meds because of course, the second we dropped off her package to mail to her, that had so much stuff in it that we've been collecting for like two weeks. And the second we left Target, I got a notice that she had medicine that came in. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Now I have to mail her medicine? It's fine. I'm going to transfer her prescription to her pharmacy over there. But I'm going to go do that really quick while I'm out. Because I don't know that I'm going to go out again. So um, I'm just going to cozy up at home and edit and hang out. And maybe watch a movie with the girls. No other plans today. So... All right, so I'm editing. Stop to change laundry, or move laundry, and uh, I got done with something to eat. Oh, here's my phone. It's so dumb. And Kaylee texted oh her family group. I'm gonna put the video in here. Spot, the other rooster chicken that we have. I can't play it. That root is go away. Dot's. Oh, sorry. That is Dot's sibling. So Spot is Jacob's chicken back at Jacob's family's house. He's very dramatic. He has a call for Kaylee that he has not done. It's a, it's a rooster call, but it sounds different when Kaylee's around. And Jacob's mom has said that since Kaylee left, um, Spot, what is that sound? Oh, it's dog. Spot has not been making that call anymore. Specifically the Kaylee call. Well, I guess Kaylee, I'll put the video in here in just a second. But um, I guess Kaylee can um, tag into the family's webcam. Well, no, the, Jacob has access. Jacob has access to it? He has access because like birds well, yeah. and raccoons and stuff. Yeah, so they keep an eye on the birds at night and stuff. But Kaylee got on the webcam and can talk to the birds from the camera and um made a little spotty. anyway spot just acted like spot and is now looking for kaylee <laughs> because he can hear her talking to him but he can't see her and he is kind of having a little hissy fit and con and he does so here is that video it's quite funny um and uh, we'll see if she gets another one here. I don't think, I don't know that she will, but. Squat, what you doing? What you doing? Hi, Squat. You're fine. All right. I have, I guess you could say, been enjoying the cold weather today. I've been just snuggled up by the fire with Ashley. We turned the fire on in August, which is absolutely ludicrous but we're freezing cold. Like I can't get my hands warm, I can't get my feet warm. I kept coming back over to the fire. I'd be editing with a blanket and then I'd get up, go to the bathroom and I'd go back over to the fire and I was just like, wrote, oh I guess I'm picking up Jason. <laughs> we just switched cars and I totally started driving off because I forgot I was picking him up. He'll laugh at me. But anyway, um, I was done editing and so I just I was like you know what laundry's done dishes are done the kitchen's clean so I just laid I didn't take a nap I just 
I just rested with warm fire on my toes. I can't get this hand warm though. My right hand. One hand? Yeah, because I'm holding my phone. Oh, <laughs> and it was cold. Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. Um, anyway, got my anniversary date back finally. Smile, say hi. What? <laughs> that was so pathetic. That what? literally like describes our anniversary. <laughs> like, well, this is what we got. Um, we're going to get Panda Express for dinner because that's what we, he said he can eat. I don't know how, but he said he's going to eat it on the right side or whatever, opposite side. What are you looking up an address for? This thing, so maybe we just drop oh, it he off. Just, it's back there. We just got someone else's mail. Do you want to just, I can just oh, turn, I around. turn around. Like, um, anyway, um, he got home. We decided, look, you know, let's just go get some, some takeout. We'll sit in the car, chat. And then um, I kind of want like a milkshake or a shake or ice cream or something from somewhere. And then um, promised Ashley she could have our leftovers of Panda when we're done. So we'll get some extra. Um, so that's our anniversary date <laughs> in a nutshell. That's what we're doing. Oh, there's a little bunny. It's so close it won't direct me there. Oh, because it's just right around the corner. It's just, it's like it sent it to the wrong street but the right house number so this is well that's the garage okay hang on all right i'm just going to show you if we had a, a sunset to enjoy this is what we would be this is a northwest sunset this is a northwest sunset we this came is up where the northwest people come to make out and look at the beautiful sunset or just talk about life's problems oh it's getting blurry <laughs> come on focus this, this is our life right now Anyway, just wanted to show you our view as we sit and eat panda, but they didn't give me sweet and sour sauce for my egg rolls or my my spring rolls. So I'm kind of disappointed, but this is our, actually this is the last rainy skies um, that we're gonna have for a while. So while Jason and I are sitting here solving all the world's problems and just kind of chatting, we're just enjoying this little view. Um, yeah, it's supposed to stop raining well, it's not raining now, but like starting tomorrow, no rain for the next 14 days, and it's going to be up in the 80s. <laughs> it just sucks Apparently for the kids. it's one of the coolest uh, August summer. Yeah, but... it has to be. Oh, somebody said that. Said this and I was talking to Abby yesterday. I was like, we didn't know. I was talking to Ashley yesterday that we haven't even had smoky skies yet. No, knock on wood. That's great. Normally, that's what our August and September are. The last couple all of the years. smoky st skies from all the fires out in eastern Washington and in DC Idaho and, and yeah, everywhere. Everywhere around us is usually on fire. <coughs> but we haven't had any smoky skies, which is nice. But um, we do go back to warm weather. Um, it'll make for um, good practices at night for Ashley and her cheer. She has a really big week coming up with cheer. Um, but anyway. We're just gonna Enjoy hang out here. Anniversary. Yeah. We are living the dream. We are. This is this is what twenty three years looks like, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> Don't you have something to look forward yeah, to? Yeah, something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all good. What when, is the gift you're supposed to give at twenty three? I think it's like twenty five is the gift. No, no, every year's got something. I mean, it might be like wood chips or something, but I really hope it's not wood chips. Like you know, tin or maybe paper. that's the, your job to figure out. Yeah, anyway, I'll look, Google it. All right. Okay, what's the gift well, for twenty three? I shouldn't have looked it up. Because now you have to give me what? <laughs> it's a silver plate. Traditionally includes tableware, kitchenware, household items, plaques, candle holders. Silver is associated with ornate, glamour, grace, sophistication, and elegance. He's Googled it. Well, the battery's flashing. If we don't do anything, well, we're not doing anything more fun than this. <laughs> <laughs> what am I thinking? I do have another battery. If we do anything else, we'll put a new battery in and we'll be back with you. Um, I don't need silver plates, so you're in luck. Uh, that's good. You're in luck. Crap. We knew this was. to leave. <laughs> it's a cop. Oh, I'm gonna put oh. it down here. I'm gonna put it down here. Cop is like, hang on. Roll down your window. Oh, he's coming to mine. Yeah, you're the driver. Oh, oh, oh no, he's coming here. Should we, do we need to leave? 
Yes, you guys are on private property. Oh, oh okay. It's, it all up here belongs to the school. Oh. And since the school's closed right now. So. Oh, okay. Oh, right. We're okay. just hanging we're out. Just, we'll yeah. leave. Nope, you're good. Okay. I'm just coming to find out what was going on. No, we're yeah, just eating our panda. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 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 all right. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> nah. Well, that's all, folks. So, take care. We didn't actually get pulled over, but told to go home. That was so. exciting. We said there might be more excitement. I know, but she didn't turn her lights on. That would have been more exciting if she turned her lights on. Yeah. Flash them at us. That would have been more exciting. Well, we'll go home. Okay, we're going to say goodnight to you guys. Take care. Bitter taste I think I'll let it be